class now. Get to your seats. We got a little bit more of an interesting topic today. Now, I know we went over the whole scout thing before. You even tried it out in the simulator. Some of you did all right. But most of you are going to need some practice, which ain't surprising. But today's topic, we're going to be talking about the space superiority fighters, or star fighters for short. And I'll tell you, I'm just going to call them fighters, because short and sweet to the point. So, let's see. Fighters have only one thing in common with them that is mass production. It's a kind of a thing. You want to get as many fighters as you can out there in the fleet. So mass production. Remember that. If you're looking to invest in some, if you think you'll live long enough to enjoy it, invest in one of those corporations. Now, the size of a fighter varies, but most are around 20 meters long and about 6 meters wide. The Golden Galactic Standard states that for a fighter to fit in this category, it must be equipped with at least two weapon mounts. Decent, but not heavy armor protection, nor faster than light capabilities. Meaning, they can't just willy-nilly jump off on their own accord to another place and then start beating the hell, hell of Jesus out of something and then take a lick in themselves and then be able to limp on back no problem. <clears throat> no, sir. Nope. So, uh, strategically, fighters assume the role of main screen ship uh, for the fleet. So basically, you know, they're kind of like your meat shield. Dealing with other similar crafts, intercepting bombers, and even torpedoes. See? Meat shield. If the need arises, fighters could be assigned on strike mission duties, replacing lost bombers. So you could say that they're a multifaceted piece of equipment. Realistically, fighters can deal with small starships only since their armaments would be, well, obviously insufficient for a much bigger, heavier vessel, but they could still do plenty of damage. Starfighter designs used by the Terran Monarchy are numerous. Local uh, CN units use heavily modified versions based on the best models available, because they got the money. Colonists are known to jerry gun pods and missiles and complement their craft weaponry. So, you know, kind of like what your grandpappy did in the garage with his old Sudabaker. Just start whipping all sorts of crazy things on there and make it grease lightning. <laughs> oh, good days. Since this squadron of fighters is probably the very first space-born unit that a colony could form, nearly all of their pilots are veterans. Having faced multiple pirates and slave raids, uh, the colonists can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with even, uh, even against the ace of local star states. So basically, they're just that damn good. Funny enough, I come from some of these folks. I bet you couldn't tell. <laughs> Terran starfighters are always better designed and manufactured since their space warfare doctrine dictates that starfighters are a strategic asset. As such, all Terran fighter crafts have better systems or at least one such that gives them an edge in the fight. Each pilot is allowed to improve upon the design of his or her star fighter or fighter. Basically, 
you get to tinker with your toys. Therefore, additional jury rig weapons, finely tuned engines, or other features like reinforced armor plating could be seen mounted on the crafts. <clears throat> Following their flexible doctrine, the Terrans strive to gradually equip their starfighters uh, with the best uh, form of protection there is. So it's not like they're going to go and take some wet paper towels and slap it on there and call it good. Mm -mm. No. Nope. They're going to look for that special something. Probably go down to the local... Uh, garage, strip another guy's ship, and put it on their own. Well, wait, that was just me? Oh, <laughs> that's a story for another time. He was pissed. <laughs> so, uh, use of battlefield salvage and loot is often necessary to achieve this. Well, done that too. Uh, Connell fi uh, Starfighter Wings uh, form large squadrons that are always more numerous than their counterparts. Their machines had often switched hands between multiple pilots and are considered prized family treasures. That actually makes a whole hell of a lot of sense now. <laughs> Each uh, beautiful painted with uh, murals depicting victories of old and equipped with handcrafted superior internal systems. Any repairs or universe uh, forbid uh, replacements and are facilitated by the use of battlefield sal uh, salvage. Excuse me. The proper use of starfighters either as a screen for your capital ships, meat shield, or attack rating force, something I kind of privy myself, can often tip the balance of large feet engagements. Even force larger carrier vessels to retreat, denying the enemy control of the battlefield and the much valued salvage. So, rejoice, Terran. Oh, sorry, this is a quote. Rejoice, Terrans. For we shall use the wreckage of our enemy to repair, rebuild, and upgrade. And when they, uh, when they to invade us, our starfighters shall descend upon them, them more numerous than the stars themselves. Now, who actually quoted that? I don't know. It is quite poetic and just downright beautiful and puts a tear in my eye. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I think this is where we're going to conclude our lesson for the day. Now, I do want you to go back and continue working on your uh, previous lesson, as some of you still don't have it down yet. You need to get back into them simulators and keep practicing. Now, later this month, we're going to have a test, and I expect to see you all ace it. Alrighty, you are dismissed.